Hey, what's up, guys? So, um, as the video title suggests, today we're actually talking about pre-built gaming PCs in 2019, and is it even worth it to buy it? Or buy any? I don't know the English. But, um, so I know a lot of other YouTubers talk about this, but I've actually purchased the pre-built it was about a, two, uh, two years ago almost, um, so it's not recent, but more recently than probably a lot of them have because they had to build their PCs and only buy them for the purpose of doing a video about them. But I've actually, last time I bought my pre-build, I actually bought it for a reason, is that I wanted a gaming PC and I couldn't build it myself at the time. I wasn't allowed to, believe it or not. But um, I want to talk about it. So the main reason people buy pre-builds is because they don't want to build it themselves or can't because they're scared or just aren't allowed to. Now, if you're not allowed to, that's a whole different dragon. But if you are scared or don't want to, I want to ask you this. What's worse for, what do you think is worse for a computer? Oh no, I actually put my IO shield in after the motherboard. I gotta take it out and put in the motherboard again and oh no, I put it in upside down. Or putting it in a box and shipping it across the country. Have you seen how UPS, if anyone doesn't live in America, the United States Postal Service, have you seen how UPS handles packages? Not well. So what would you rather have? What would you rather do? Put your computer in a box and toss it across the room or have to take out the motherboard because you put in the iron shield upside down? You know, that's the way I see it. It's so hard to mess up building a gaming PC. Um, even And there's warranties. If you mess up, just pretend it came broken. Now, I highly suggest watching Jay's Two Cents video. Uh, I'll probably link it in the description. Jay's Two Cents did a video um, where he built a PC wrong on purpose. Super funny video. Literally, he just showed, and it still works. He shows how he builds on a carpet, static electricity, yada, yada, how, how easy it is. It's so easy. So if you have the choice, my recommendation is to build your own PC instead of a pre-built. But this video is about pre-builds, and that's one of the reasons. He, so my recommendation is, is build if you if you can. Um, even if you're scared, just build the PC. Now, the reason for that is you're going to save a lot of money or you'll spend the same amount of money but have better hardware. Now, here's my first experience with the pre-built PC was around 2014, 2013, I don't know, early, back when I didn't know anything. So I read Gaming PC and thought, oh, that's great. And I made the mistake. Now, here's the biggest mistake when buying a pre-built. I went with HP. I said, oh, HP, that's a company I know. Let me buy an NV Phoenix. Now, you're probably wondering why this graphics card, this is a graphics card, by the way, is on my desk. This is the graphics card that HP included inside of their gaming PC that was $1,000. This is a... I'm Linus, dude. It's so broken. This is a GT640. Not even a GTX anything. It is a GT640. Now, not only that, you guys remember... Well, you guys remember this motherboard from the Can I Break a Motherboard in Half with My Knee? I did bend it and broke my knee. Um, this is the gaming motherboard that they put in that system. Uh, we got like one phase power delivery, a one four pin for our Intel 4770 that they came in. The CPU could do work. The 4770 wasn't a bad CPU, but this, I played Counter-Strike Global Offensive at 1024 by 768 and got barely over 60 frames. This, this is the motherboard. This is it. You know, one PCI Express slot, or PCI Express 16X, and then three 1Xs, and that's it. And then the sharpest, I'm literally stabbing myself at this motherboard. Uh, it had thirty. It had sixteen gigs of DDR3, which was super. Ow! It is the sharp. This is the sharpest thing on the planet. I need to get rid of this. Now, of course, they had me because I thought it was a good PC. I still have it. Ah! Isn't this thing beautiful? Isn't this gaming? Oh, and the mic fell. Isn't this gaming PC? amazing now of course at the time I'm like oh my god it's a gaming PC and it worked for a while until it didn't oh, I still got an IO shield this was a weird PC I'm trying to think how to... now that I'm looking at it the IO shields on the bottom was this like an upside I don't know if it was this upside down I don't I don't know but this I mean it was it was great but the power supply is, is, I mean, look up modern power supplies, and then just look at this. Look at that. Nice silver, must, ketchup, mustard, pe pe ketchup and mustard cables. It, it, this was not a gaming PC. 
Now, for $1,000 at the time, you could have gotten yourself a i7 4790X, whatever the heck of the GTX 6 series graphics card, and have have enough money left to buy yourself a $10 foot long at Subway. You it, Like, this it was not good. Now, we've come a long way, and my most recent pre-built, of which the case I'm not going to lift on the table because it's actually nice, I bought it from iBuyPower, but I didn't buy from their website because there are so many horror stories on the iBuyPower website. I actually bought it from Amazon. It cost me approximately $1,800. It sounds like a lot, but guess what I actually got? I got a 7700K on the Z270 chipset on an ASRock, or ASRock, I think it's called. I don't know. I don't pay attention. ASRock uh, Killer SLI board, or uh, Z270 Pro 4 SLI board. I don't know. It was, it was a good one. Now, and guess what? I got a GTX 1080 Ti. At the time, that that computer would cost you like fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars to build yourself. It came with a pretty bog standard six hundred fifty watt power supply, which is just probably enough to power that whole thing, and sixteen gigs of DDR4. Um, is it? Still have it. It just it's default, and I'm actually yes, this is the RAM that I was planning to give away. Yes, it's used RAM. RAM is RAM. It works. Okay, it still works. Uh, the only reason I'm not using it in my current gaming PC is because I upgraded to 32 gig RAM, and this is only one kit. But, you know, it, it it was good, and that was right before, if anyone remembers 2017, right before 2018, when the uh, GPU mining, Bitcoin mining thing happened, and GPUs were impossible to find, the 1080 Ti disappeared. So, at one point, my graphics card was worth more than I paid for the system. But, still, for that price, you could have, I mean, I honestly... There wasn't really much of a better system you could build that had, like, the best parts. But I'm just saying, for that price, if there were better parts, you could have them. So, basically, that's the main argument, is that you can get more for the same money. Now, I don't want to say more for less, because you're going to get more for the same price you'd pay for less. So, you get more for the same amount that you'd pay, or you can get the same for less. And also... With a pre-built, you have to use their configurations. Yes, you could use their configurator, but you're going to pay so much. You can pay like a $200 build fee. Who charges a $200 build fee? I would build a computer for a sandwich or some fish and chips or something. Like I, a, a nice sandwich with barbecue sauce, anything that would go well with that, some hot sauce, I would build you a computer. And some of these companies are charging $200 build fees. And then just, you know, but... It's just, it's not worth it. You're not going to get a good price. Now, this is just my opinion, but... I mean, you could also look at it. You're just not going to get a good price unless they're on sale. But, you know, they still have to – because they have to charge all this tax and stuff and everything else. It's annoying. And also, what would you rather have shipped across the country or wherever you to wherever you are? A whole computer with a graphics card that could literally snap off and break your motherboard and graphics card? Or, you know, just a small box with a CPU, small box with a graphics card? You know, I would rather have that shipped, but I just go to Micro Center because I'm lucky. But that's really my argument. Now, if you are going to buy a pre-built, now, there's some people who just are set on buying one. and You know, that's fine. Some of them have cooler cases. Like my iBar Power NZXT case only comes with the pre-built. We have three of those. Or had. I gave one away. But if you are going to buy a pre-built, I have just a few recommendations. First of all, do not buy giant company ones. Like, don't buy from Dell. My personal opinion is I don't think you're going to get a good price with Dell. Um, and like Alienware because you're, you're paying for the name. It's like Apple. You're paying $600 extra just for the name. Apple, you're paying $990 extra for them to put Apple on the stand. You guys get it. Um, you're just paying extra for the name. I think my recommendation is if you're going to buy one, go for, for like iBuyPower or CyberPower PC. Uh, they're lesser known, but they do give you better prices because they actually know gaming hardware, in my opinion. And they don't make their own boards. They actually give you – it's all standard parts you can buy on the shelves. It's no OEM parts or whatever it's called. You know, like how Alienware will give you a blue motherboard that they make themselves. I don't really like that. Uh, and then finally, it's – Buy from Amazon, <laughs> or like a new egg or something. Buy it from a uh, with a good return policy and really and you know two day shipping or whatever. I bought mine from Amazon and I knew for a fact if it came broken, I put it in the box, send it back, and they send me a new one or they give me a refund. That's my opinion. Is that you should buy from Amazon because there's just it's a more well established company than say I buy Power. Now I buy Power is great, but I would suggest buying if you're gonna buy an I buy Power, buy it from Amazon or Amazon 
of your country. I mean, they have Amazon in other countries, but that's about it. I mean, this was kind of a weird video, and it was super unscripted. I just kind of thought, hey, let me give you guys my two cents on should you buy a pre-built. And the answer is no, you should not. You should build one yourself, or if you're saying, can I get a gaming PC for 600 Buy an Xbox. You're not going to see... One last thing is you're not going to gain so much over, let's say, an Xbox by having a $500 PC because they're just – it's different. It, their APUs aren't there yet for computers where it's worth it to buy like an APU. But Xbox and PS4, they use the same APU, which is a graphics and CPU processor combined. It's very nice. They have the Jaguar CPUs or APUs, I keep forgetting, from AMD and – PC doesn't have that. They're just better hardware for that price. I, I would always suggest buying a console because it's just like a PC for that budget that can actually run, run games. So, you know, that's my opinion, but don't buy a pre-built. I can't English. Don't buy a pre-built. Just build your computer. Save up. Build it. Have a good time. If it breaks, pretend it was broken when you got it and send it back. And that's about it, guys. I know this was weird. This is probably going to be a just my opinion thing uh should you buy pre-built but uh thank you guys so much for watching and i'm so out of ideas so if you have any put them in the comments thank you so much for watching i love you guys i'll see you in the next one peace